Hey everybody, welcome back to Practical Astrology. Today, of course, we're talking about lovely Libra. And when the sun, as I mentioned, is in Libra, your confidence increases. You feel good about yourself. You express all of those wonderful Libra qualities and um, your ego is happy. You know, the, the ego gets a bad rap. The ego is what propels us forward very often. Then we trip and fall, perhaps. But um, the beauty of having the sun in Libra is that you shine. Okay, now we're going to talk about Venus. Venus is your ruler. And Venus is the planet of love. It's the planet of money and beauty, uh, music, art, all the things that we love. And so you may remember, some of you, when I talked about Taurus. Venus rules Taurus as well, but it manifests very differently in Taurus. In Taurus, Venus loves uh, food and the things that life has to offer on a very practical, logical level. Taurus is an earth sign. You, Libra, are an air sign, and that means you are um, artistic, uh, humane, um, you love to communicate, you're a thinker, all of the more mental things. Those, that's what air signs represent and express. So, because the Sun and Venus and Mercury travel together around the zodiac, I have to talk about all three of them, and that's what we're doing today. I want to mention something, too. When Mercury goes retrograde, or Venus goes retrograde, that's when they appear to be moving backwards in the heavens. Mercury goes retrograde three times a year. Venus, uh, not that often, maybe once a year, maybe once every year and a half. However, that slows down uh, Mercury's uh, speed and trajectory, and Venus's as well. So they might not enter, in this case Libra, at the very same day that the Sun enters it. But don't you worry, because they all catch up with each other. And this is why when the Sun is in Libra, you get an extra boost from Venus, love, and from Mercury communication ideas, um, even transportation. So, let's get back to Venus. Um, I have noticed that when Venus is in Libra, all Librans are just more loving, more gracious, uh, more positive, because all of the finest qualities uh, of Libra shine through. Naturally, you got the Sun, you got Venus, and you got Mercury. We'll talk about Mercury next time. But Venus um, loves partnership. It loves harmony. If two people are arguing, arguing, it's Venus that says, now, now. If your relationship is based on love and you care about each other, let's start at that point there is a natural ability to say the right thing at the right time to the right person. This is one of your gifts, Libra. So, if two people are arguing, you are going to say what both of them need to hear to make them calm. Because you know the value of a one-on-one -on -one relationship and you don't like it when it's not harmonious. You like everything balanced. If you're throwing a party, you're going to invite equal amounts of potential partners. So, if uh, you're having a dinner party, you're going to seat people 
so that everyone has someone else enjoyable to talk to. You're not going to randomly say to them, sit anywhere, Here, here's a tray, balance your dinner on your knees. No, you're gonna set it up so that it's lovely and beautiful. You love symmetry. If things are not balanced, think of a fireplace. And if you've got a very tall palm next to the fireplace, over on one side, you're not gonna have a low table on the other. You're going to balance it, which is why you may find yourself buying two of everything. That's what Gemini does also, um, another air sign. If one is good, two is better. Libra, you will do the same thing because you wanna keep everything balanced. Think about that. I have a dear friend who, rather than have a couch, has set up two enormous uh, armchairs. They're not recliners, but they're, they're large enough to be a love seat uh, in front of her fireplace. Balance, a table between them, room for two cups of coffee or two wine glasses, um, room for a pizza, two glasses of beer, or bottles of beer, your preference. See what I'm saying? It's balance and harmony. You're a wonderful decorator for that reason. You know where things belong. Now I know that there is a Libran out there who does not like symmetry. That's because you are a rebel and you see things differently. And because you're a rebel, and it is your nature, I'm gonna encourage you to keep doing that because you're good at it. Um, many, many years ago, when I uh, started teaching high school, I mean, decades ago, when I started teaching high school, I went to Air France, I taught French, and I went to Air France and got these enormous posters of the Eiffel Tower, of anything that represented France. And I ran out of posters uh, because my desk faced the back wall. I had something like three posters up high on the wall and I ran out. I only had two posters and I thought, well, I gotta, I gotta work with this. And I have enough Libra in my chart so that that drove me nuts. I couldn't bear it. And after about a week of looking at three over here and two over here, I went back to Air France and I said, I need one more poster. And once I had the symmetry and the balance, I was happy, happy camper. It is so important for you, Libra, to have a love interest because that assures you of that one-in-one -in -one relationship that means so much to you. Are you a public speaker? Let me tell you what your one-on-one -on -one is. You are one and the audience is one. And that is why you don't have to talk to everybody in the audience one-on-one, -on -one, although afterwards you're gonna want to. So. In our next segment, we are going to talk about Mercury in Libra. <music>